a hopefully easy to understand guide on beating Argos, the final boss of the newest Destiny 2 raid layer, Leviathan Eater of Worlds. Argos is protected by a huge diamond-like shield that you'll need to power down in order to damage him. In the area where Argos is, you'll notice there are three elemental platforms, one arc, one solar, one void. Also around the map in several locations are six Vex craniums, but some won't appear until the encounter begins. Picking up one of the craniums will begin the encounter. If you pick up a Vex cranium and bring it back to one of the elemental platforms, you can deposit it into one of the little glowing triangles if no other cranium is already in there. Leaving that cranium in there for a short while will charge it. When the cranium is fully charged, it will reappear, allowing you to pick it back up and use it to shoot a temporary laser of whatever element it was charged in. When the encounter begins, three elemental orbs will randomly spawn on one side of Argos's shield. These orbs can all be one element, but will more likely be a random mixture of the three. You'll need to shoot these orbs at the same time with the matching elements of the charged Vex craniums in order to depower Argos's shield. So once you see what the elemental orbs on Argos's shield are, communicate that to your team and begin grabbing and charging the Vex craniums accordingly. To make sure you can see all of Argos' shield when the encounter begins, we split up our group, two guardians starting at each of the elemental platforms. So even though you'll only need three Vex craniums to shoot the elemental orbs into place and drop Argos' shield, it's a good idea to charge all six Vex craniums anyway. The reason being is that they help a lot for the damage phase. A fully charged Vex cranium does a bunch of damage to Argos. Think of it this way, you'll be using three craniums to open the shield, and the other three will be used for additional damage on Argos himself. Your entire team will need to move to the side of Argos' shield that has all three orbs visible on that one side. You should call that information out when the orbs originally spawn. Shoot the orbs with the matching element of your charged Vex cranium and push them to the center of the shield at close to the same time. When that happens, Argos' shield will drop. Now begins the damage phase. You have a brief window of time to do as much damage to Argos as you possibly can by shooting him right in the face. Here's what my team found to be the most helpful in terms of solid DPS. The additional Vex craniums, any cluster bomb rocket launcher, particularly the Sins of the Past launcher, and the Cold Heart Trace Rifle. Any Titans on your team rocking the Rally Barricade are going to be your best friend since as you know you can use the Rally Barricade to automatically reload your power weapons instantly. Warlock and Powering Rifts can also be helpful here. While you're damaging Argos, you'll need to watch out for a few things. 1. The continually spawning Vex in the area. 2. The self-destructing drones that Argos will shoot directly at you. And 3. The pyramids Argos will occasionally shoot at your team. If you get hit with one of those pyramids, you'll begin to float away into the air and your teammates will need to shoot and break them in order to free you. You'll have to carefully balance doing as much damage to Argos as you can, while also making sure that your team doesn't get killed by any of the Vex or the self-destructing drones. Sometimes, if there were a lot of Vex attacking us, I'd quickly fire all my rockets at Argos with a rally barricade to do some damage, then pop my super and try to clear out as much of the Vex that I could while my teammates kept shooting Argos. It's a delicate dance, but you'll figure it out. When the damage phase ends, the big shield will power up briefly. Before you start the whole process all over again though, Argos is going to start charging an attack that will kill everyone unless you stop him. When he's charging up this attack, his shield will again drop and several platforms will appear in the air all around him, which you can jump up on in order to get closer to him. The only way to stop Argos' death attack is by shooting him in two specific areas on his body until they explode. All the areas you can shoot are as follows. The glowing vents on the top of his head, the glowing vents on his back, and the glowing vents on these side arms. When shooting these areas, you need constant damage because if you stop shooting them for even a second, they'll begin to heal. You and your team need to pick a body part to shoot and shoot it all together non-stop until it explodes. When it does, pick another body part and shoot that together until it explodes as well. 
That will stop the death attack and then the entire encounter resets back to charging the Vex craniums and dropping his shields all over again. When you blow up a part of Argos's body, it will not be available for your team to shoot again later. Since there are six body parts on Argos that you can shoot, and you need to blow up two in order to stop his death attack, that means you'll need to kill Argos with four damage cycles. At the end of four, you'll have no more body parts on Argos to shoot, and he will kill you. And that is pretty much the Argos boss fight in a nutshell. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe for additional gaming content. If you have any questions or additional tips on fighting Argos, be sure to leave them in the comment section. Hope you learned something. See you next time.